Peter, you're about gold, and Richard, you're about cryptocurrency. Peter, where do you see gold going in the next 12 months? And Richard, where do you see cryptocurrencies heading in the next 12 months, including Bitcoin? So I'll start off with you, Peter. Where is it all going for gold? All right, well, first of all, let's put gold in its proper context, because I'm not all about gold. I mean, I'm an investment manager, and I've constantly or consistently recommended that people hold maybe 5 or 10% of a portfolio in gold. Uh, but the remainder of the portfolio is in you know, income-producing assets, companies that I think have good fundamentals, that are growing their earnings, that are paying good dividends. Uh, I look at gold as a proxy for cash. A lot of people are talking about holding cash now, not for the yield, because there is none, but for the optionality, because if stocks go down or real estate goes down, you can use your cash to buy these assets on sale. Well, I do the same thing with gold. I would rather be holding gold, waiting for better buying opportunities in stocks that I like or real estate that I like, rather than fiat currency, especially in an inflationary environment where it's the fiat currency that could crash rather than the assets. But if you're holding your liquidity in gold, well, then you're protected from inflation. <laughs> uh, and so that's why I like gold. I mean, I like gold as an alternative to dollars, as an alternative to euros. Uh, yen, any of the fiat currencies, and as an alternative to any of these crypto fiat currencies, if you think stocks are expensive, if you think real estate is expensive or bonds are expensive, and you want to have dry powder, then gold is a great place to keep it. Gold is an excellent store of value. Uh, it's maintained value over the years, over the decades, over the centuries. Uh, it's been money for thousands of years. Um, so I, I believe that gold is a, a good, it has a, has a position in a portfolio uh, to act as a, uh, you know, as a store of value and as a source of liquidity. But, you know, over the long run, I mean, gold doesn't produce any income. Uh, you know, it's not like real estate where you get rents. It's not like a stock that has earnings and pays you dividends. It's not like a bond where you can get interest, although today bonds pay very little interest, which is part of the problem. Uh, so over the long run, no, you don't want to just have all of your wealth in gold. You want to own uh, other assets that will perform and, and, and deliver income. But over short time or time periods, if you know, markets are expensive like they are now, and you know, there's a potential for a rather substantial decline, uh, having a, an allocation to gold makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that, everything he just said was very stupid. So this is going to be a very easy debate. I, I'm sorry for you guys that we're hoping for something very exciting. He just crushed his own argument in the first minute. I'm facing a guy that owns 10 to 20 times more not gold things than gold things because he knows that those things are better assets. He says that gold holds value over time. It doesn't. Here's a chart of gold adjusted for inflation where you lost money for 40 years. 40 years you lost money, 40. If you had bought gold 10 years ago, you're down today. You lost money from 10 years ago, not even inflation adjusted. So for a guy that doesn't even talk his own book, literally starts the conversation with, I don't even like this stuff enough to own more than five or 10% of it, it's gonna be a very easy debate to win. And the charts, the facts are on my side. Now, I got good news for you. Just because gold is a terrible investment, I may even own more than Peter with my quarter million dollar gold watch or my gold trinkets, I understand what gold is supposed to be used for. Gold is used as jewelry for 50% of its market cap. Go on Wikipedia, look up gold. You'll see that 50% of the sales of gold is for jewelry. And what is jewelry? It's just vanity. And what could be more uh, willy-nilly and prone to fancy than vanity? So gold that he doesn't even believe in enough to own more than five or 10% or recommend anyone own more than five or 10% is backed 50% by people flexing and looking silly. I look silly on purpose, right? So, I mean, you wanna see the hex chart? You wanna see what the hex chart looks like? It ain't looking oh. like this. <laughs> Here's what the hex chart looks like. Only up and to the right forever. <laughs> by the way, copper beat gold. You bought gold five years ago, you would have been better off with copper. Copper that you can actually use. Peter says gold, well, I don't want to crush all his arguments ahead. I, I could just beat all his arguments now. What he's going to say is gold 
uh, has value, Bitcoin doesn't have value, which is instantly defeated by the fact that you can exchange Bitcoin for gold. I remember back when Bitcoin cost less than an ounce of gold. Now Bitcoin costs 20 times more. You could have bought in, in the top of, I bought Bitcoin at 30. I mined it at 50 cents. In 2013, it went up to $1,300, which was the price of gold. An ounce of gold was worth less than a Bitcoin in 2013, 2014. Now an ounce of gold is worth 20 times less than a Bitcoin. And so the fact that you could turn Bitcoin into gold at any time you want, I think his company even accepts Bitcoin to turn it into gold, disproves his idea that, gold, that Bitcoin has no value. And I don't even like Bitcoin. Bitcoin destroys the environment just like gold does. 50 to 60 people just died yesterday mining gold. Yesterday. How many people died mining Bitcoin? So this is the reality that we live in. I've already won the argument. It's just a question whether the audience well, gets to notice. If, if you're finished flattering yourself and, co and congratulating yourself, first of all, I, yes, I, 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 just because I think that gold should be a small part of a portfolio doesn't mean I don't like gold. I just said that gold is not an investment. Gold is like cash. And right now, I think there are a lot of very good investments around the world that I want to own. Now, if I had a choice between just the NASDAQ and gold, I would own all gold. But those aren't my choices. If my choices were all gold or all Bitcoin, I would own all gold. If it was all gold or all hex, I would certainly own all gold. I would own no hex. I would own no Bitcoin. But when I look around the world and I see a lot of good companies trading at very low valuations and paying very good dividends, I want to own those assets. I don't want to have everything in gold. Now, if things were a lot more expensive, I might want to up my allocation to gold, but I would never include hex in my allocation. I mean, you want to talk about what gold's done over a particular period of time. Well, yeah, if you bought gold five years ago, you had a great return. It's up 90% over the last five years. Over the last 10 years, no, it's, it's about flat over 10 years, but go over the last 20 years. 20 years ago, gold was less than 300, and now it's 1,900, so that's a pretty good return. Now, if you want to say, oh, what if you bought gold at its peak in 1980 at, at, at 800, you have a lousy return, go back 10 years earlier, and you bought it in 1970 at $35 an ounce, and you had an incredible return. So you can always pick and choose whatever time frame is convenient for you, but the reality is you're so excited about how much HEX has gone up. HEX is down about 70% from its peak. So there are people who bought hacks who are down 70%. Nobody is down anywhere near 70% in gold. And the people who have made money in hacks haven't made anything because they haven't sold. Because they've locked up their hacks in your scam of a CD. You've conned people into taking a worthless currency that you create for nothing. And they've agreed not to sell it. So you can keep unloading yours uh, to the people who are foolish enough to think there's a free lunch. And they're going to get rich in your pyramid scheme. But